Welcome to Power Grind Sports, the ultimate destination for sports fans everywhere. So look, if you're a casual observer or if you're a diehard fan, Power Grind Sports is bringing you the latest analysis and insights from the world of sports, from football, basketball, baseball, hockey, and everything in between, boxing, MMA. Look, we trying to do it. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to sit back, relax. I'm going to give you positive energy, information, entertainment, because you already know I am certified in hip-hop sports entertainment. Right now, we're getting ready to talk about Alexander Usyk and what's next for Alexander Usyk, that's what I really want to know. That's what the boxing world wants to know because the Alexander Usyk right now, if you don't know, he is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about Alexander Usyk and I'm thinking about what's next for him, you know, one of the things that I noticed and that I really respect about Alexander Usyk is that I, I noticed that he couldn't hold back his tears during a powerful moment during the post-fight news press conference after his historic victory over Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Now, Alexander Usyk is a 37-year-old Ukrainian fighter, right? And he just secured a split decision win to become the first undisputed heavyweight champion in the four belt era and that has not been achieved since lennox lewis in 1999 this was a historical moment i just saw you know the the pride in alexander Usyk's face when when they announced him man it was something to see it was awesome you got what i'm saying and i'm telling you man his journey to that point where he became the undisputed champion in the four belt era, it came at a significant cost. And the reason why I'm saying that is because um, I noticed in the, in the post fight, they asked him a, a question about his late father, right? And Alexander Usyk became so emotionally overwhelmed because you know his father had passed away shortly after he had won um, the gold medal in the 2012 Olympics. So one of, he, he was he was talking, he was speaking in English, and one of the things that he said is that he could feel his father's presence in the room. He was saying that you know he he missed his father, you know, but his 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 father is here. You know what I'm saying? He just was saying how he loved his father. He was just, I guess he was just remembering, you know, the life of his father. Fathers are so important. You got what I'm saying? They just, they just really are important. Now, what was crazy uh, before this fight, because this fight was originally scheduled for February, but it was postponed because we saw Tyson Fury suffered uh, some type of eye injury. He had this big, nasty gash over his eye, you know, in, in, in his training camp. And one of the things that we knew about Alexander Usyk is that he had an extended training camp. Because he started training camp, uh, I want to say in September of 2023. That's almost like a 10 month, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A 10 month training camp. Man, that was crazy. Now, he was talking about that in the post-fight press conference, right? And he was talking about the significant family events that he missed. He talked about his children's birthdays that he missed. He talked about New Year's celebrations that he missed. He talked about the birth of his daughter and missing that. Because they was asking him so many different questions. And he was like, look, I don't want to think about boxing right now. You know, he just was like, he just was reminiscing. Like, look, man, I miss New Year's. I miss my son's birthday. I miss my other son's birthday. I miss my daughter's birthday. I miss the birth of my daughter. I miss my family holidays because I was so focused on the fight. 
So during that post fight press conference, he was like, look, I just want to go back home and be with my family. That was crazy. I, I, I felt, I felt as if I was proud of Alexander Usyk because the blood, sweat, and tears and the sacrifices that go into boxing, a lot of times if individuals have never boxed, they will never understand. Now, Tyson Fury, you know, he suffered his first defeat. He got a 36-fight career, right? But it seems as if, as I'm looking at social media and looking at all these other sites, it seems as if he's reluctant to jump into an immediate rematch. Now, during the immediately after, he was like, yeah, yeah, I want to do it. But now I'm reading all kinds of things on social media that he doesn't want an immediate rematch. But both fighters agreed to a rematch in their contract. So I'm hoping that the rematch happens in October because that's what the contract says. And But like I said, it don't seem like either Alexander Usyk or Tyson Fury is super eager to fight each other in October. And I understand that. Look, man, so many sacrifices. You know, so many sacrifices. Alexander Uzi, he was like, look, man, I'm going home to eat some good food. You know what I'm saying? That's what Tyson Fury was like, too. Look, I'm getting ready to have some food, some fun, some family time with my family, dogs, etc. You got what I'm saying? And whatever happened in the future is what's going to happen in the future. You got what I'm saying? Now, at the post-fight press conference, Fury was talking, and he was like, look, I'm not boxing because I have no money. I do it because I love it. You know, he was like, look, I'm about to be 36 in a couple of months. And I've been boxing since I was a little child. And I'm just thinking about all the sacrifices that Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury have made. They have dedicated their life to this great sport that we call boxing. And sometimes it seems as if people do not appreciate boxing how they need to appreciate boxing. So I want to encourage you to appreciate boxing. And I really appreciate the fact that Alexander Usyk, he just showed you that he is a regular human, just like you and just like me. Alexander Usyk's, um, his response, that emotional response, especially after this victory over Tyson Fury, should highlight the sacrifices that these boxers make to achieve their dreams. And for Alexander Usyk, he achieved a historic win because this is the first undisputed champion in like 25 years that's crazy right there so i just saw i just was thinking about what's next for alexander Usyk, and i started thinking about how you know he had this extensive and extended training camp that kept him away from his family and then in the post-fight press conference he just was bringing up all these memories and had these memories of his late father, you know, and he was just making it clear that his journey was not about just physical preparation, but it was about enduring a significant series of emotional events and personal challenges. So mad shouts out to Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury. They hinted at the possibility of a rematch but expressed a true desire to just focus on family time, personal time before they made any decisions. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, look, man, I call that priority. But if you are a champion and you are trying to become a world champion and maybe even become undisputed, you got to understand just like Usyk's journey to becoming the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Look, man, it takes incredible, crazy sacrifice. All of that, I'm telling you, a lot of sacrifice is required to achieve greatness. It's not about having physical strength. It's not just about having the skills in the ring. It's about having the mental flexibility, the mental fortitude and the physical ability to endure various physical hardships and then the mental capacity to 
completely endure the personal hardships. So as you pursue your goals, I need you to understand that you gotta, you gotta know that it's essential for you to recognize and appreciate the sacrifices on this journey that we are on. So you gotta remember to balance your ambition with different moments in time. And most of those times need to be a moment of reflection. Honor your loved ones with your time and your presence. You don't understand the importance of spending time with people who are in your life while they are here. People can't tell you thank you from a casket. You can't tell, so you can't walk to a graveyard and tell somebody thank you and they can hear it. And then they know that you appreciated them. No, tell them now, the time ain't five years from now. The time is right now because all you have is right now. That's all you have. So I understand that you want to pursue your goals, but you got to recognize the sacrifices that are being made and think about the cost of these sacrifices. And you have to balance that time with your loved ones, with your family. Because to me, that's what true success is. And I'm telling you, understanding true success is not just in accolades. It's not just in, hey, I made these achievements. It's in a journey, a journey of resilience, a journey of empathy, a journey of trying to assist other people who benefit from you. You're not here by yourself even though sometimes you may feel as if you are here by yourself, but I'm telling you, there are people who are depending on you right now. So I wanna take this time, and I want you to take this time to celebrate your victories, acknowledge your struggles, and always make time for those who support you with no conditions. Unconditional support. Because there are some people who love you unconditionally, and you don't give them enough time. But I'm telling you how you show your love is time, energy, effort. I hope you're feeling what I'm saying. This is Power Grind Sports. I got to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm growing. Power Grind Boxing, we had to jump on that right there. You got me? But I'm encouraging you to turn your dedication into domination. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to jump out of here. I'll talk to you on the next one.